<laughs> Hi, and welcome to What the Fork Am I Doing? I'm Todd Phillips, your host, and uh, we have some very special guests today. Today, this is my mother. Say hi, Mom. Hi. Uh, and instead of me showing you what to do, we're going to be having her teaching us how to make, what are we making? Enchiladas. Enchiladas. Okay, but she's not our only guest star today. We actually have two very lovely assistants. Please welcome Morgan and Stevie. Hi. So this is Stevie. Say hi, Stevie. Hi. This is Morgan. Hello. Hi, Morgan. Okay. So, uh, we're going to get started and really hope you enjoy the show. Okay, so today, let's go over some of the ingredients. What do we have here? We have rotisserie chicken. Okay, what do we have here? Shredded Mexican cheese. And here? Corn tortillas. Here. Enchilada sauce. And there. And sliced black olives. That sounds very good. I think I'm really going to enjoy this. Uh, so that's what we use, but with enchiladas, of course, stick whatever you want in them. You want cups some onions, bell peppers, throw those in, do it, whatever. Enchiladas, make them yourself. Um, so that's what we're going to use, and yeah, we're going to get started. So let's turn the oven on to 350. <laughs> okay. Okay. And I need some helpers to shred all that chicken. <laughs> Would you like to? Sure. All right, go for it. Now, <laughs> now, here's a quick question. What's the best way to shred chicken? I mean, do you just like open it up and then... What do you do? Yeah, I pretty much do that. You can also use a couple of forks and do it that way. Forks, please. Forks in that drawer. <laughs> Whichever way you're comfortable with. It's cooled down enough. Or do you like these? I'll just use my hands. Okay. I like it. Two different styles. Dirty okay. girl. <laughs> All right, and we're probably trying not to get much of the skin in. So, and you washed your hands recently? Just kidding. So, So you can use any kind of cooked meat if you're having enchiladas with meat. You could have pork that was already cooked and shredded or beef that was cooked and shredded. Um, you could do all vegetables in your enchiladas. You could even do just cheese and nothing else. Cheese enchiladas are good. You could put a turkey instead of chicken and do right yep. that. Yep. Different kind of poultry. You could even tofu in your enchiladas. You could. I don't know if I could. <laughs> but, uh, you know, that's, yeah, you could definitely, some people might do that. So, uh, what we did is we shredded up all the chicken. My lovely assistants did an amazing job. And uh, now we are going to do what, Mom? We're going to stuff the tortillas to actually make the enchiladas. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is to Pour this enchilada sauce in the bottom of these two pans and just divide it kind of evenly. One pan's a little bigger, so it gets a little more sauce. So, okay. Want to do that, Morgan? Sure. Now, how many cans would you normally use for enchiladas? Two or one? Per pan, usually one. Okay. Good size can. Okay. Now we're using, I believe it's mild. Uh, one time I got like inferno blazing, and it was tasty, but um, it it hurt. So, uh, but honestly, if you're into that kind of thing, you can just feel free to pick up, uh, you know, a different, you know, hotness of it. But usually mild, I think, just works fine. Yeah, move it, roll it around, just so the whole bottom's covered. And then Todd, will you heat, I usually heat four tortillas at a time for 30 seconds. And we're just using corn tortillas. show you what I want you to do. I'll make you a little more than a little warm. Okay, so we're going to take some, um, a handful of chicken, handful of cheese, 
if you do too much, you can't roll your enchiladas. We like to put a couple of olives. Okay, fold it over and then put them seam side down in the enchilada sauce. That's it. Okay, so you filled all the tortillas and rolled them up into enchiladas, and now we're gonna put more sauce on top. So just scoop until that is mixing bowl is empty. So you're, you know, I don't, and just pour it all over. You want the whole enchilada, all each enchilada, totally covered with sauce. This looks so amazing. I'm getting so hungry just watching this. Now basically this is all cooked because the chicken's cooked and um, so when we put them in the oven all we're doing is actually heating them to a hot temperature and so that the cheese melts but we don't have to cook the chicken because it's already cooked. So, so on top of this, um, Stevie why don't you start putting some cheese. Now, you can also put more black olives on top if you would like. That way we would know this is the one with black olives. The other one have, doesn't have black olives, except for one. It's okay. We, we don't talk about that one. Okay. Leave that cheese. <laughs> that's good. That's, that's, that's We're having a little enchilada with our cheese. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds about right. Okay. <laughs> So, do we need to do any more prep work for the enchiladas? We do not. You can, if you want, put olives or if we were using green onions, we would put green onions on top. Okay. Or even at the end of the baking so they're a little fresher, brighter green color. But they're ready to go in the oven for 30 minutes. Ladies? Delicious. Mm. Alright, so we're gonna let these cool and then uh, we're gonna enjoy them.